What's up everyone? Welcome to another video on the channel. Today, Forza Horizon 4, we're doing a wheel spin drift build. Let's get it. Three of the hardest things for people to say. I was wrong. I need it over. And wish to shester shire sauce. Worst gesture. Worst gesture. Worst shire. Worst gesture. Now, if you guys are new to the channel and you enjoy the content, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Also, like the video, comment on whatever else you guys want to see in future videos. And, of course, follow me in other social medias. Links to those are down below. Especially my subreddit. I made a subreddit video yesterday, which banged. It was sick. I absolutely love that everybody enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. But after this video, um, and then, of course, go ahead and join the subreddit and then start posting memes and stuff there because it is so funny. And I'm definitely going to be making more of those videos. But yeah, let's get back to this one that we're doing right now. Right, so we're back on 4chan, and unfortunately it's going into night time. But we'll do it now anyway, uh, because I think once we're once we're done with uh, picking out our car and stuff like that, I'm going to go ahead and obviously uh, go and upgrade it, and hopefully it'll turn back into daytime afterwards. Anyway, 4chan Island, we're back. Another wheel spin drift build. Let's do this. Uh, right, are we going to do a normal wheel spin or super wheel spin? I'm going to do a... I'm going to do a super wheel spin, because we always have more interesting cards here. We always have crazier and more interesting cards to build. Oh, the LM would have been sick. The LM would have been so sick. Come on. Give me a, a nice, interesting card to build. I, it's nothing. Again. Okay, cool. It's a good thing I have 80-something of these to go through. Still nothing. Okay, let me explain to you guys how this works. The card that's furthest to the left is going to be the one that I'm going to be using as the build. And then anything that's to the right is going to be my budget for the build. Ford Fiesta, let's go! Okay, uh, so yeah. The card that's furthest to the left is going to be the card that I'm using. Obviously the Ford Fiesta, and then the other two are my budget. So I have 25 grand and a 1981 Ford Fiesta to play around with. Let's add that to the garage and let's mess around with this thing. Oh, I'm excited actually. This is sick. The last video we got niced. The last the last time I've done a uh, a video on uh, on the wheel spin drift build. I've been so nice. We got it's front wheel drive. <laughs> it was so nice cuz I had such a stupid pretty much unlimited money. I had like, a lot of money to mess around with and uh Whatever build I ended up doing, it actually turned out to be very good. Both of the cars that I ended up uh, building were sick. I don't know how this is going to work. Um, <laughs> we have 25000 to spend. I'm going to... Is there even a point of me bringing this thing downhill? It's front-wheel drive now, so I can't really slide it properly. Sorry, I can't drift it. I can slide it. I can't drift it. I've done front-wheel drive, quote-unquote, drift builds before. But... Obviously, they're, they're not drift guys. You, you just sort of whip the handbrake and hope for the best. Okay. Somehow, I'm still taking this thing sideways. Going downhill. Just sort of tapping the handbrake right now. Oh my god, okay. Front wheel drive stock fiesta. Whipping out 50,000 points already, come on. I don't I don't know why I decided to look at this. 200,000 points is three stars. I, I, I don't think I'm gonna make three stars. How am I even sliding this thing? I'm just sort of sending it. I'm just staying in the second gear as well. The tires on this thing are awful. They're perfect for what I'm doing now, but they're awful. A bit of rain? This might actually work really well for us. It just feels like I'm driving... Like, when I look at it, it looks like I'm driving a rear-wheel drive car. All of this is literally just from upsetting the balance, and... 
Best throw up my handbrake. I find it really surprising when people are telling me that it's hard to drift in this game. This would have been a stick challenge to try and get three stars with this thing. Hundred and fifty six thousand. Let's do one hundred sixty. Damn it! One hundred fifty nine thousand points. One hundred fifty nine thousand points with this thing. That would be. That's. Oh my god! That would have been so funny if I just whip out at two hundred thousand points. Just, get, just getting three stars on a zone like this. A front wheel drive Ford Fiesta. How much horsepower does this, does this thing have? Like eighty? Is that what it said? Was it eighty horsepower? Eighty four horsepower. It weighs eight hundred and forty kilos. My god. Okay, well, the main and most important thing. This has to be rear-wheel drive. Either rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. But I don't think I have enough money to do many mods. So, oh man. Okay, so all-wheel drive would make this thing slightly heavier. It'll be the same. I can technically make this thing mostly rear-wheel drive. Uh, big question. Does it have drift suspension? Does it have drift suspension? It does have drift suspension. So I think I'm going to go with this and rear wheel drive instead. Um, some people may be saying, yeah, but you can just make it pretty much rear wheel drive if you have the all wheel drive setup. I know you can make it mostly rear wheel drive. I don't know if you could fully make it rear wheel drive. I don't, you can't make it so the wheels, the front wheels get like 0%. I don't know. I don't know how this works. The whole all-wheel drive system, I think you can make it pretty much rear-wheel drive. I don't know if you can 100% make it rear-wheel drive. Um, but I do know you can change the power distribution to the, obviously, from the front to the rear and all that sort of stuff. You can lock the the, the diff for the rear wheels, the front wheels. Like, like I said, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. I'm, I'm just going to go with the rear-wheel drive setup. I don't want more grip anyway. Um, so we're at 12,050. If I could just slap a massive turbo onto this thing. It's a thousand eight hundred. Oh, is it worth it though? Is it worth it? We're not gonna be able to do a lot of this, a, a lot of stuff to this car. That's a, that's a hundred percent the truth. Um, it's got one hundred and five horsepower. How am I gonna get this thing to have more power? Obviously, edge swaps are out of the question here because it's way, way, way out of budget. As for our tires. I think keeping this thing stock is probably the best idea. I don't want it to have more grip. Because it doesn't have enough power. Or to have more grip in it. Um, our transmission seemed fine. I'm going to change my clutch, I think. Actually, do I? I think I just need power for this thing. I kind of wanted to change my clutch, but I think we were staying in second gear for the entire time of that whole run. And it was fine. Except it was all obviously going to the front wheels. But if I can just do that, the same thing... I'll have my rear wheel spin all the time. I think that should be good. Okay, so instead of this, instead of my racing intake, which only gives me a tiny bit of power for 1,800, I'm just going to replace that with a turbo, which is the same price, but it gives me a lot more power. So we'll do that. Uh, carbs, how much? 2,200 for 11 horsepower. Uh... 1,900 for 9 horsepower. 13 horsepower for 2,050. Um, 2,900, but this gives me a 33 horsepower increase. Cams are always worth it. I think the block is worth it as well. Is it? 22 horsepower for 3 grand? I think it is. And if I upgrade my turbo, which is another 30 horsepower, that's not, uh, that's not worth it. Wait, maybe it is actually. We have 25 grand, right? 190 horsepower. We're 23,000. Interesting. What about pistons? Pistons don't do much. I only have a little bit left to go as well. I only need like a, a tiny, tiny amount now to uh, to finish this off. Um, so I was looking at uh, the, uh, the ignition. I definitely wanted to see what we could do here. 8 horsepower for this. 1,950. What would that put me at? 24,000, 25,000. No, that's over. This would put me at 24,600. 24,600 is the closest. Ooh. Uh, 24,800. 
24-8? Is that... I think that is the closest one, right? 24-8. Yeah, 24-8 by looks things is the closest we can get to, to that. And then anything else that we can change here? Change our track width for the front wheels. I'm going to bring those out as wide as possible. Okay. 25,100. Um, I just realized. Bring that one down. There we go. 25,000. <laughs> Dead on. <laughs> Right, we changed this from a D class to a C class. The weight is uh, 50 kilos heavier, but we do have pretty much over 100% increase in the power, which is very good. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna work. It's also rainbow drive now, so it's even even more interesting. Um, definitely gonna do this. Lock that diff. Um, make it soft. I'm gonna make this a lot softer. I think. Usually before, I used, what I used to do is, I used to get this to be really, really stiff, so the, um, um, the suspension wouldn't really play a part in this. It would just be the tires, but I think if I get this thing to be soft, I could just use, um, I can just use the, uh, the body roll to pretty much send this thing sideways, and it'll, it'll handle a lot easier as well. I'm just gonna bring also the, the PSI for the tires up as much as possible. Probably wouldn't have to do this. Uh, but I'll see. I'll change everything anyway once I'm up on the hill. Um, again, gear ratios, I have no idea. The tune for this as well, uh, I'm probably not going to do anything to it at the moment. I'll change some stuff once I'm up on the hill and, uh, and I'm driving this thing. See if I need to change anything on it. Because I think I'll be able to slide it like this. Yeah, I knew I was going to be able to slide it like this. It's just the fact of having no grip. Okay, so this is fourth. It's, it's doing okay. It costs you us to stay sideways, so that's good. It's not as slow as it was before. It sounds just as angry as before. It's a little. It's slowing down a little bit here. I don't have that power. Okay, I'm not gonna bring it uphill. I'm not, there's, there's absolutely no chance I'm bring, uh, taking this thing uphill. It doesn't make sense for me to do that. Jesus. My angry little car. Alright, let's see the, how much of a difference that made. 25 grand. <laughs> okay. Fourth year by the list things is the way to go here. I'm not holding a huge angle with it on purpose because I wanted to speed up a little bit. Like here I'm gonna slow down so much. Try and not have that big of an angle here. There we go. I just want to stick to speed up a little bit. That's a little too fast. Oh, that's okay. That's the infamous slap trend would say that was just a tap. That's more more than just a tap. I'm destroying the guardrail, but that's okay. It revs so slowly. It revs really, really slowly. It's easy to keep it going sideways. It's definitely noticeable that it's underpowered. And it doesn't have very good tires. This just needs slightly better tires. Just, just slightly. 
I may just bring my PSI to tires down. I don't know how much that's going to help, but I'm just going to bring it down, I think, back here. Back to standard again. And we pull off 282,000 points, which is not that bad. I'll take 282. Okay, we'll do one more run. I'll take it downhill. I'm going to mess up my tires. Uh, I'm going to mess up my gear ratio slightly. Um, I think I'm going to make fourth gear just, or not fourth gear, but like all the gears pretty much just tiny, tiny bit shorter. Just so I can use that fourth gear a little bit better um, for some of the corners. And yeah. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. I give the rear wheels more camber as well, just a tiny bit. Make the gear ratio is a tiny bit shorter as well. Mess with my caster a tiny bit. I mess with my toe a tiny bit as well. I'll put the uh, I'll put the tune up so you guys can download it. Actually, I've already put the tune up. So you guys can already download it if you want to try it out yourselves. Very budget drifting on on this little Fiesta. Okay, I also made the tire pressures back to normal again. They're back at like 30 PSI. I feel like it covers more ground as well now. The little Fiesta, compared to before. I feel like I had to like, just... I wasn't able to like, send it as much. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that dude's car flying down the hill. Yeah, I feel like I had to straighten up a lot the last... The last one that I've done, but I feel like in this one, I can just keep it sideways a lot more with the tune that I have on. I think the, the, the toe on the camera helped a lot. I just increased my rear camera slightly, and then the toe for both of the wheels just put a little bit of toe out. Okay. My gear shows since they're a tiny bit shorter. I can get fourth gear to be a little bit more usable for all these runners here. And as you can see, in the points and the way this thing drives, that extra little bit of tuning actually helped. Come on, come on, come on. Speed up. Oh, I wanted to get 300. I wanted to get 300. I think it's possible. But yeah, this is our little Fiesta build. It's a it's a mad little car. I honestly didn't expect for 25 grand to be able to do stuff like this, but it doesn't weigh a lot. So I think that'll that'll help this thing out a lot because of its lack of weight. I definitely I definitely didn't expect this thing to be. Oh my god! I definitely didn't expect this thing to be such a good uh, good little shift car. But look at it go. It's sick. Regardless, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed today's little wheel spin drift build. It's very budget-like as well, so uh, yeah, I really do hope you guys liked it. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you want to see more videos like this on the channel, please subscribe. Follow me on social medias. Again, as usual, links to those down below. And I am going to talk to you guys. I thought I could send it all the way, but I was it was slowing down, and it wouldn't change gear. I tried to change gear and I fat fingered. Uh, I almost pressed Y. So I was like playing claw mode. Because so I was holding my handbrake as well at the same time. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Thank you again for watching and goodbye.